In this video, I'll show you how you can create a tooltip glossary using the JavaScript alert feature. I was inspired recently by a post on the Adobe eLearning community by Greg Stager, and I'll put a link to that post in the description of this video where he talked about customizing and using the Captivate alert window. So he talked a little bit about how you can use the object style manager, which I'll go into a little bit, and how you can have custom messages to your learners using JavaScript alerts. It's quite an effective tool. And I thought, how can I use this in a way that perhaps we haven't thought of before? So I came up with the following solutions to use it as a tooltip glossary. If you have a phrase or word in your on-screen text that not everyone might be familiar with, highlight that phrase or word. Click the Insert Hyperlink icon in the Properties Inspector. In the Link to drop-down selector, choose Execute JavaScript. Click on Script Window. The format you will use is cp.alert parentheses, followed by an opening quotation mark, then enter the text that you want in the tooltip glossary message, add a closing quotation mark, followed by a comma, and then a new opening quotation mark, then include the alert pop-up title, followed by another quotation mark, a closing quotation mark, then followed by a parentheses, and finally, a semicolon. Here's an example that I've written that includes a description of the President of the United States and, of course, the title President of the United States. I'm going to click on OK. The other thing you'll need to do is make sure that this script is run in the current window. So I've selected that. I'm going to click OK. And you'll now see a hyperlink created in this particular text item. So let's go ahead and preview this, preview HTML5 in browser, and there we have it. So if I click on President of the United States, I see this alert pop up that describes who the President of the United States is. You'll see it has the title President of the United States and includes a brief description of who that is and what they do. I can click OK to return to my course. You can have as many of these tooltip pop-ups on your slide as you need. If you don't like the alert pop-ups appearance, you can edit the colors from the Adobe Captivate Object Style Manager. Click on the Edit drop-down menu and select Object Style Manager. Select Runtime Dialog and then make whatever changes to the appearance that you wish to have for your alert messages. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific need. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.